Hi, my name is Pixel Mist. Sorry for delay. I just realized that I haven't done the video on how do you use the Sorarium tools or Sorarium editor to edit to the clothing, uh, to, to edit clothing that I have created. So I'm gonna fix it today. Uh, we're gonna start with the Daisy tools. You need to, of course, mount drive P because uh, we're gonna use Daisy tools today too. So the first thing you do is uh, you go to the P drive and you download my server folder that you can find on my Google Drive. All links are in the description of the video. So uh, what we are doing right now is essential for the mod to work because all items, until they are edited, they are hidden in the mod. So it will not show up inside of the game. So um, let's download the uh, my server folder, right? Uh, I don't remember why, where is it exactly, but I have copied it in the link. So um, we just press download right over here, and it will download it. I am uh, recording this tutorial a second time, so I'm not going to um, download it again, okay? I'm just going to put it right over here, my server. And why do we need this? To keep everything in place. So you don't uh, wander around your computer thinking, where the hell did I put this thing and everything like that. Since we are editing the clothing, we are going to create the clothing folder. OK, we are done here. Uh, now we're gonna do, download the DZ, uh, not not DZ tools. I mean, uh, through our editor. It's right over here. You just download it, and you will get in uh, get over here uh, two folders: Surf Editor. This contains uh, the software, the program itself, and this Russian weird looking folder named as a default config. If you want to just take a look at the items that are inside of this mod and not edit them and everything like that, you can download this config just like that and put it right in my server clothing folder, okay? Take a look at this, like this. Except it must be just config, not 15, okay? But if we go inside, you can see there is every single item of the game, except the names are in Russian. But now we are going to fix it. We are going to write something about Fallout uh, but for ourselves, okay? So we are going to delete the config right over here. We don't need this. Let's pretend we have downloaded sort of editor. I want you to uh, extract it anywhere you want on your computer. Then go inside the Win32 folder, find Survarium Tools Exit, right-click, and create a shortcut. This is basically what installing the software means, if it's not bad or something. Uh, creating a shortcut. This is much more faster and it doesn't uh, drive people crazy because they think that, that they are installing viruses and everything like that because you're doing it yourself. I don't mean that you're installing the virus, I mean you're creating the shortcut. After that, you can place the shortcut on your uh, desktop. I have already done this, it's over here. And after that, you can hide your folder anywhere you want. For example, I can put it in Conan and it will work. Or I can go to the C drive and put it right over here. So uh, let's run the program right now. And since you're watching this video on, in, on English, I bet you speak English and not Russian. Just press American flag over here and go to the edit clothing. Put the volume on the music uh, lower again because I for forgot to fix this back. And let's run through this, okay, real quick. It's really easy. It really speed up, speeds up uh, your work with the items and everything like that. So take a look. 
first uh, list, uh, we are choosing here item. We are going to edit. Well, obviously, this is about pencil here, right? Not about vest or uh, how do you call it? Shoes. This is about gloves. So let's go to the jacket, right? Item name without those, I don't know how to call it in English, but I bet you don't understand what I mean. So it basically means you are not allowed to write something like this. If you want to write something like this, you need to get rid of them. So I was talking about Fallout, right? So um, I'm not a big fan of Fallout, honestly, and I played, uh, I don't know, maybe 150 hours you know fallout fallout 4 fallout that was before fallout 4 but i do understand that we can name this as the i don't know scavenger jacket also my english is limited so <laughs> and i bet that in the united states it's not so cold so we can make it less weight less, uh, make it a little bit bigger, have a little bit more space inside. Uh, it cannot get wet this much. It's not so uh, warm. Health is how much health this item will have. The more health, the more sturdy it is. I, I believe this is the right way to describe it. This guy's, <clears throat> now this is interesting, AI uh, in the existence alone, they actually try to spot you with their eyes. They don't just run around in random. So, uh, for example, Yellow Jacket will have these guys at one. The Camouflage Jacket, Military Jacket, will, this guy, will have these guys about one, 0 0.8, okay? But I gave you the opportunity to mask yourself even more go to 0 0.7 there is no reason to go lower because it might break the, because it might break the game quick bar remember those uh, hot bar this hot bar uh, from minecraft that you have in the existence long where you put all your quick access items this is the this is how many additional quick bars you will get if you wear this item. So if I wear this, I will get only one quick bar. But this is like really small amount. So let's go up to five. Gas protection. Uh, it's in percentage and uh, it's basically how good it will protect you from the green gas. But uh, it's basically actually from 0 to 100, either yes or no, because uh, you need really small amount of uh, green gas agent in your lungs to get sick, and you breathe constantly. In busy stand long, you can't hold your breath. So if you put it like 95%, you'll still get ill, just, I don't know, one second later. So the, it doesn't worth it either one or zero so let's put it to zero then disease protection for example your friend is dumb and he got sick because he wasn't drying his clothes not drying his clothes okay you got it so you want to be protected from his sneezing from him sneezing on you and coughing right now uh there is important thing over here yellow text if this text is yellow item can't have gas protection why so because there is a bug in the existence alone that if your item has uh, any has any um slot uh slot for some sort of item for example this uh jacket has item slot for a night you will not be able to use the gas protection. This is the existing alone bug. So, uh, and let's name 
uh, change the description. Let's write uh, all poor scavengers. I mean, they don't have money. Wear this jacket. They uh, they craft it from. Oh, I actually forgot how to craft it. Wait, let me take a look. Or are we able to craft it? I remember. No, we can't craft it. Okay. I will show you how you can craft the uh, how to create the craft for it later. Uh, let's just write. You can't craft it. <laughs> you need to earn it. Earn it by suffering in wasteland. Okay. Cool. Now let's go to the armor. Now it's counterintuitive because you may think that one or one hundred percent means that you're absolutely protected. Uh, now it's the opposite. It's the opposite because it's basically how many percentage of damage you will receive if you are damaged while wearing this clothing. So uh, that means that you will get 100% damage from clothing, or I mean from bullets, from uh, knife, you will get only 90% uh, 90 actually 89 and from hitting by zombies 89 from frag grenades you don't have protection and take a look your um, character has three types of um, health bars. It's health, basic health, the cross that you uh, use to take a look when you're damaged. The blood, I, I believe you know what blood means, and the shock. When the shock is zero, you fell unconscious. So you can make different protection for every type of damage and every type of health. Really flexible, isn't it? So now when we have finished, we just press add item and it says config live, you start the work. Now I'm gonna shut up right now and show you how fast you can edit everything with this uh, software, okay? Because it may look like uh, it takes a lot of time. And uh, yeah, and description, of course, Skyven. scavengers use this uh, gas mask to hide their faces. Sometimes they use filter too, and they are lucky. Okay, um, now we press add item. Uh, and yeah, once you press add item, you can't uh, edit this item anymore. I'm sorry, uh, I'm not that great at programming, okay? Especially using this uh, engine. So it's one way, <laughs> oh, ticket. But anyways, you can reset it, but you will need to do the same thing again. Don't worry, if you are not a complete idiot, you can just edit by yourself. Save? As you, as you saw, it was much more quicker than you do with your hands, right? So uh, we go to the My Server clothing and save it as a config CPP. Save. It opens up, opens up it for us to check any mistakes. Uh, I mean, for example, you have changed your mind and you want to make it wait not 
two kilos, actually 20 kilos. So we're going to make it like this. And you want to make this scavenger mask named as scavenger mask uh, voice. Now if we change it or make it more sturdy, 10 times. So you, that's how you do it. Now we have finished uh, our job over here. Now we're going to use Adam Builder and pack my server folder. It will create a mod uh, in our game. Right on here. You'll see my server once it's finished over here. And it contains everything we need. Don't worry, I didn't forget uh, to teach you how to create craft for those items. Don't worry. Uh, I just don't want to lose your time. So let's start the game. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Of course, I need to download the. the uh, I need to download the scaf pot itself. Forgot. So let's download it. Because uh, the mod that I have over here, the pack plot thing, it basically stands for post apocalypse. Ap okay, hell. Post apocalypse. Yeah, something like post apocalypse. <laughs> Clothing. You got it, right? So let's wait it just a bit. There we go. And just drop the mod to your folder like that. And now we can start the game. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, so basically how you create craft, so how you create craft, you can uh, do it over here or you can go just to craft maker, daisy.ru. Wait a little bit if it shows you black screen, don't worry. Just wait a bit or refresh your... Mm, yeah, just refresh. Go to English and press video tutorial and watch how to do that, okay? So let's go back to the game. Take a look. I hope that nothing lags and um, let's write scaf. As you can see, we have edited two items. As I said, only two items will appear in game. If you edit every single item, you will have every single item. Put a little bit of effort and love in your game, just like I did. So here we go, scavenger guy mask for boys, but we are a bad girl, right? So we're gonna wear it anyways. And here we go, we have the jacket too. And as I say, there is a knife and it has the description. All poor scavengers wear this jacket. You can't craft it, you need to earn it by suffering wasteland. And Scavenger used this gas mask for either fascist. Sometimes they use filter too and they are lucky. Here we go. That's how you do that. It's really easy. And uh, if you're wondering what's the difference between my gas mask and game gas mask, there is a difference. And you put it. When you put the filter on and you go first person, you'll see the filter. It, it just makes it more immersive. That's why I like it. If you don't like it, you can use in-game uh, gas masks, right? So this is it. This is how you use it. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, there is also a way how to edit the monitors. 
you can uh, change what they will drop when they are dead. Health, blood shock, both for humanoids and animals. Don't worry about testing stage, as I know everything works fine. I just need to create a new version of the program to get rid of this testing stage. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have problem, let me know.